Hey guys, you might be browsing our site and notice that we have multiple different types of NPT fittings and different shapes. So I kind of want to just show you the difference between them. Uh, I'm not going to explain the different scenarios that you might use these in, but at least they'll show you the differences so you can make a decision. So the first one uh, is our, what we call a flush fitting but it's really just a stamped um, out of sh uh, flat sheet and then it's threaded. Um, so that's a little bit cheaper of a fitting, and, but it has a flange around it. So you would cut this diameter of hole in the tank and then you would overlay it over the hole and weld around the perimeter. Um, you'll notice though that the wall thickness is not very thick. So this is really only used for um, no pressure whatsoever, but just general tanks. Uh, where you need to make a connection to a fill neck or to a pump. You could use it as a pump connection. It's commonly used. Um, so that's a flanged uh, stamp fitting. And then we have a CNC machined flanged fitting. And the, the biggest difference between these two, other than the, the way that they're manufactured, uh, is that you have a much thicker wall thickness. So we have a step down right here, but it's only the last thread. So really effectively you have that much thread. Um, and when you weld this into the tank, it tends to not distort nearly as much as a flanged fitted might. Um, both of these though need to be welded into a flat tank. It cannot be welded into a, a curved tank or something that's not dead flat or else it will totally distort um, on the, the, the lower sides. Now you have uh, also what we call a half coupling. Well, not we, but it's all, this is called a half coupling and it really is just half of a full coupling. A full coupling technically would be two of these threaded from both ends. Um, so the half coupling is a machined piece. We actually machine all three of these pieces in house. Um, and it's got a full profile all the way down to the bottom. Um, you'll notice that it's got a chamfer up here at the top. That designates, that's top. So the fitting, uh, a fitting that you thread into cannot thread into the bottom of the tank. It's only one way. So it can only go in on this side uh, because the thread's tapered. So this is a half coupling. Um, and you'll notice that the wall thickness is thicker. This is just standard thickness uh, of what uh, the pipe standard is. And then we also make uh, a two inch half coupling version that we call a heavy wall. Um, this is just as it sounds, it's the same ID two inch NPT, but we've increased the OD of it substantially. So you have almost a half inch thick wall and that's mainly just for distortion. Even when you weld this in, uh, if you don't weld it perfectly flat or you have uh, it's a little crooked. It's possible to distort this a little bit so it doesn't uh, thread perfectly well, especially of aluminum. That's I think that's the ticket here is, is we're talking about aluminum and this stuff can move around a lot when it's uh, introduced to the heat. So if you have a, an application where uh, you need something extremely heavy hanging off of it um, or you need to reinforce around it with a lot of rings, um, this might be the one for you. And like I said, we call this a heavy wall. Um, so, and this is fully machined as well from a bar stock. We, uh, rough it all out and then thread it. So those are the biggest differences between the two inch NPT fittings, um, that you're going to find on our site. All of them, uh, have their, their place. Um, and there's nothing really wrong with either one. It's just a matter of kind of choosing what you think is best for your application and what you're trying to build. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can always email us at sales at boydwelding.com. Uh, check out our site, boydwelding.com. You can buy these parts online 24 seven.